<clears throat> All right. Obviously, not the uh, not the end result that we were we were hoping for. Um, you know, uh, it was um, um, felt like that. Uh, uh, extremely proud of the way our guys played. Uh, they played hard. They never gave up. Um, they fought to the end, and um, but you know what? The uh, and, and again, we're going to celebrate that. But the the days of the moral victories at SMU, have, you know, or, or you know, like I shared with our guys, are extremely proud of the way you played. But this feeling that we have, uh, all of us have in our stomach, with the hard work that we put in, is is unacceptable. And we're going to continue to work hard and to build on this moment. Um, I've said from the get go that uh, uh, this will be a great gauge for our program into where we are and where we want to be. And I firmly believe that. I think Coach Browles is, uh, and, and obviously the Baylor Bears, are being the number four ranked team in the country, um, have, um, have, have set a standard for us to where we want to get there. And um, I thought our guys were ready to play. I thought our fans were outstanding tonight, sellout crowd. Uh, I want to encourage our fans and, and just, uh, and they, they were great tonight. It was, it was awesome. Um, and to get behind these kids. Get behind our guys because there's brighter days ahead. I promise you, we're going to win a lot of football games here. And um, the effort that I saw tonight from a group of young men um, battling and uh, really should have been tied at halftime um, or at least um, right there close to it. Uh, should have got a field goal out of it. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and actually midway through the third quarter, late third quarter, it's still a ball game. And um, we just, you know, we gave them, gave them some easy stuff and missed some tackles. And uh, it got away from us right there at the end. But, uh, again, proud of the way our guys played. Um, but uh, we'll come back in here on Sunday and we'll, we'll battle back. And we'll, we'll, we're going to get better. I, I promise you we're going to be a – we're going to be a force to be reckoned with in this conference before it's over with. Questions? As close as you were going into halftime, what did you tell your team at halftime? Well, I, the first thing I asked them was, do, do you believe? And um, and obviously they they do, uh, and and said they did. And I said the way you do it is one play at a time. And uh, uh, you know it was disappointing that we at least didn't come away with a field goal. Um, we had a pass called, and Matt, and Matt knew better. Matt told me as soon as he came out the field, I said, "Coach, I knew better. I should have thrown it away." And um, it was just disappointing right there. It's going to be a very valuable teaching experience for for us um, to to get the ball out and, and uh, come away with, at least with a field goal. But uh, you know, at that point, you know, if you get a field goal out of it, you're you're 28-24 uh, at half. And um, but uh, still, 28-21, you battle through, and and and, uh, and I can do a better job coaching in a, in the second half. Now, there's no doubt about that. I can call. I can I can put us in a little bit better situations than I did. We were we weren't very good in the third quarter on third down, which was uh, a result of getting our defense back on the field. Um, and um, I felt like that we ran the football well early on and uh, might have got away from our game plan just a little bit early third quarter or mid-third quarter. But, uh, but again, this is a learning experience for all of our guys. But, uh, Chad, did you know if they believed before tonight? You know, I did. I really did. Uh, these guys have worked extremely hard now, uh, and they really have. They've worked extremely hard. and. And uh, we have really stressed and sold our culture of what we have to do and the accountability of, of what it's going to take for us to get this done with a, with a starts with me mentality. Um, these young men are hurting over there right now, and they should be hurting. Um, and, um, but the, this feel that we have isn't going to be, it, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't going to be, be part of this program too much longer. I can promise you. Um, we're going to get this program back right. I think you saw some of it tonight. I think you saw how hard our our guys played, um, and uh, um, those that 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 uh, might have been wavering, um, which I don't think were many. Uh, I think they believe now, and uh, I think we got a fan base and a university that uh, was extremely proud of their their team tonight, um, and I want them to be. Um, these guys are working extremely hard, and, and uh, um, they have feelings, and uh, they're, uh, they're going to battle and go to class on Monday, and they're going to hold their head high. And uh, we need the same turnout with our fans and our student body, which was phenomenal tonight, uh, next Saturday night. So. Yes, sir. <clears throat> 
Well, I, I, I've said from the get go, our, our biggest enemy is ourself. Our biggest opponent is ourself. And um, obviously, this is a great gauge of where we are, uh, where we want to be. We've got to take the film. We've got to learn from it. We've got to correct it and, um, and make the corrections um, to, to not just giving them free, free stuff. I mean, just, just you know, you know we've we got to contest the ball. You've got to make plays in space. Um, and, um, and I thought that we, we did that at times, but uh, we, just, we gave them too many free yards out on that field tonight. Now, granted, they're a very talented football team. You've got to give Baylor credit. Um, I mean, they got some of the top wide receivers in the country. And, and I've coached some top wide receivers, so I know what top wide receivers look like, and they definitely have their fair share of them. Um, but uh, we've, got to, we've got to get better in, in, in uh, several areas in that regard. But, uh, you know, the thing I want to take in, we, we played a lot of guys tonight. A lot, of, a lot of young guys got to play tonight. And uh, um, I think a lot of our freshmen tonight realize that, it's, that, that the game is going to move faster. Uh, and they're learning as it goes. And uh, so, again, we're going to build on that and, um, and move forward. You know, we're, we're, we're going to hold our head high, but we're going we're gonna to make some adjustments and corrections, and, and we're going to get better. Yes, sir. Coach, how do you feel about the play? Well, I thought he was a, uh, definitely a difference maker. Um, I think he, he obviously, with his ability to move the chains with his feet uh, when things break down around him is kind of his biggest asset. Um, I thought he made some really, really good decisions. Um, and, um, you know, I thought he pressed a little bit there at the end. But uh, that's a guy that's just trying to make a play. Um, very proud of him. Um, a great, phenomenal leader. I think that uh, um, he definitely won the won – the, uh, um, the you know his, his teammate he won his teammates over tonight with with his play, um, so I, again I'm proud of him, um, but uh, I'm proud of all of them, but uh, Matt's going to be Matt's going to be a, a, a very very good quarterback for us uh, over his tenure here, yes sir. Yeah you know he he he, uh, he was actually cramping up and uh, so we took him in I think they IV'd him up and he came back out but he's. He'll be bruised and, you know, obviously, you know, is his, his, uh, hurting because of a loss. But he's, he's, he's a competitor, one of the great competitors I've been around. And, um, and I, think he, I think he learned a lot about himself tonight, too. I really do. Portland Sun had a big game, but Baylor did a good job at least kind of neutralizing some of the other targets. Was that a lot of what they did? No, yeah, you know, you have to give them credit. They they do. Um, they did. A, they did a good job of of trying to neutralize him a little bit. I thought that there was a couple of plays that maybe he could have made. Um, he obviously made some plays for us tonight. But uh, being a freshman, you, you you learn and you keep moving forward with him. And uh, um, he's going to be a he's going to be a really good wide receiver for us in, in uh, over his tenure here. Just being a freshman, so excited about him. Excited about our other guys too. I think we had some other guys touch the ball tonight. Uh, really really proud of our running backs. Um, you know, obviously Prescott line. We know what Prescott can do. His ability to play all over the field. Um, and then your two freshman running backs, Xavier Jones and Braden West, and those two guys there are going to be be dynamic. I was very proud of Braden in the the kickoff return. Uh, thought we made a difference um, in in the special teams at times. So, yes, sir. Well, I think the biggest thing that I see is is that these guys can compete with anybody. I mean, I think they believe they can compete with anybody. We saw that they can complete or compete with. You know, one of the top teams in the country right here, and um, and so you know that that's that's one of the biggest gauges that I've seen. I, I'm I'm I am very proud of our guys. I'm, let me tell you, let me, let me let's get that straight right now. I am extremely proud of the effort that these guys played with. Um, but losing is um, is something that we're not going to get used to. Um, and 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 what's happened in the past here is is look this is this is a total different era and uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna be satisfied. Moral victories don't 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 do me a whole lot of good. Uh, we wanna we wanna make sure that these guys understand that we can win and we're gonna win and they gotta have that mentality and they've had to believe first and I think we've took great strides tonight for that. No, it's easy to get up for the sure, in the absolutely.
Well, I, I mean, you know, obviously that would be uh, – uh, you you hope that that, that – that doesn't happen. North Texas, this will be their first football game, so they'll be extremely excited about kicking it off. And, um, you know, they're going to come over here and they're going to be ready to go and excited. But, uh, but I, I, again, I think it goes back to the culture that we're, we're, we're establishing here. This isn't a one-game season. And I've said this all week long, that our season isn't going to be defined had we beat Baylor or had Baylor beat us. This, I, we got many games left. And uh, we got a lot of lot of football left, and, and we've got to keep getting better. We're we're in no no position to feel like we've arrived, because we have we, we can do a lot of improving. Um, and and the one thing I do know, being in this business long enough, that that uh, you see some of your best improvements from a football team from week two to week three to four. And so I'm excited to, to get back in here on Sunday. Uh, to be around these guys. I, I got to be around these guys. I mean, they, they, they drive me, they fuel me, and uh, I'm motivated by these guys because I want to see the end result. And it's a daily process. It's win each day. So, uh, again, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to, to see what the future holds for these young men, but we got a lot of work to do. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we want to run the football. I think at this level you have to be effective running the football, um, and so we are. We're gonna we're gonna run the football. Uh, I felt like I got away from my game plan just a little bit uh, there at the end, and 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 uh, when we weren't converting through, you know, we were going three and out, which was uh, disappointing. Um, but uh, you know what really. Really, as you look at it, you know, we, we fall down, whatever it was, and our, our guys battled right back. I mean, they, they battled right back and got in this thing, and, and, um, and we, we did it by staying with our game plan, and, and we felt like we had to run the football and, uh, and was able to do that tonight. We rushed for over 200 and 203 yards tonight or whatever it was, um, and uh, we are. We're going to run the football. Take one more. Yes, sir. Well, I, I think you, you you know you look at it two different ways. I mean, you know when you're when you're 28, 21. I thought we were playing pretty good pace. We we were snapping the ball 45 times in the first half. That's on track to snap it 90 times. So we were very proud of the way we snapped the football the first half. Um, and then you know you, you try to be smart uh, as the game. You know you get midway in that third quarter and you you're like, okay, if I can get this thing into the fourth quarter and have a shot at it. Um, and so, you, you, you know, whether we slowed the pace of the tempo down, that was by design. So I, that was by design. But there was times we were playing exceptionally fast, and there was times that we were, we were, we were strategically trying to, to change the tempo of the game. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Thanks,